After brainstorming keywords, it's time to construct your search for use in library databases. This video will show you how to save a lot of time by putting together an effective search string. The functionality for constructing your search is typically built into database search interfaces, usually through drop-down menus that default to AND. These connecting words in the drop-down menus are called Boolean operators, and they can help you better limit or expand your search for more relevant results. Let's use a real-life example to make sense of this. John and Jane are going out to dinner, but they cannot seem to agree on where to go. John wants sushi, but Jane really wants Thai food. Luckily, they have options. If John and Jane go to a restaurant that serves sushi and Thai, they can only go to a restaurant that serves both. A restaurant that serves sushi or Thai could potentially just serve sushi, just serve Thai, or serve both. Finally, if a restaurant serves sushi not Thai, they can only go to the sushi restaurant. Clearly, John and Jane should go with the restaurant that serves sushi and Thai so both of them can be happy. And, or, and not work the same way in library databases. And will only find articles that contain the words or phrases in both search boxes. Or will find articles that have either one or both of the words or phrases. Not will not retrieve any articles found with the second, even if the first happens to be in it. It's also a good idea to consider where you are searching. This is especially important in databases that search the full text of all documents, like JSTOR. Most databases default to searching the key fields. This includes the full citation, subject headings, and abstract if there is one. This is typically a fairly efficient and effective way to search. You may also search for words only appearing in the title. This is useful when there are many articles on your subject and you want to narrow them down. Though not always an option, searching in the full text will search the key fields as well as the entire text of the article. This is useful when there are not many articles on your subject, but keep in mind that you may need to make your search much more focused. Use these additional search tricks to your advantage. Putting your search terms in quotes will search for them only as a phrase. Adding an asterisk to the end of a root word will locate all words for which that is the root. Reading the database directions or the help page is useful for specific instructions on how to search that database and making sure you are spelling things correctly or checking if there are variant spellings sometimes does the trick. Every once in a while, it's the little things. A well-constructed search can cover many bases at once and save you time in the long run. Here is a search constructed from the research topic in an earlier video. What social conditions cause the growth of terrorist organizations in Israel? Notice each concept is on its own line connected together by AND. Synonymous terms are linked up with OR and quotation marks are used around the phrases. Instead of using OR for the variance of terrorism, it's simply truncated. You can do this too to great effect.